If you didn't know, we can start creating video games now with Anthropic AI using a feature called Artifacts. But now there is an additional feature that allows us to share them. And in today's video, and this is a little crab game going on, this is one they made. In today's video, we're going to check out the community's artifacts and find some cool ones. What are you even talking about, Corbin? What do you mean you can create video games with AI? Well, I did a video on this and we created our own little video game here. All it took us to do was to chat over here. And now we got a little llama. This is a llama. I got little stars going on so I can go through the cactuses. We did this in five minutes. So we're gonna check out other people's little games like this and like other features that they've done with these artifacts in today's video. Anthropic, I see you. You're doing some good stuff in the industry. If you don't know, Anthropic released a new feature called Artifacts. And what these allowed us to do was basically chat with a chat bot and then that chat bot could make things they call artifacts. No, this is not, this is not Egypt. We're not going into some tomb and finding a mummy and then getting cursed when we open it. No, 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 no. These artifacts are like little value points, like a 8-bit design of a llama or a website landing page or a game. And just recently, they released a new feature to these artifacts. But if you want to learn about the artifacts themselves and like what I'm even talking about, check out this video right here. This is me making a game with this new feature. It's only five minutes long. Do you have five minutes today? You can see how it works. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and check out community-made artifacts because now we can share them. So I'm going to go to this little Twitter thread here or X thread. Give it a like. And check this out right off the bat we're gonna play a crab game a crab game corbin a crab game <laughs> let's click the link whoa okay this is why this is awesome y'all this was all made as an artifact i mean this is like pretty advanced here let's check it out so we can add a gold chain do we want a gold chain let me zoom in do we want the gold chain or not we'll add the gold chain do we want the top hat we'll add the top hat do we want the mustache we don't want the mustache do we want the surfboard of course. Now the surfboard doesn't really look like a surfboard. It looks like we broke a surfboard. But check this out. This is all through these artifacts, right? Let's actually play this game, which doesn't really seem obvious to me. Oh, I see. So this use case here seems to be specifically for the context of adding little UI elements to our crab. So this doesn't seem like it's a little side scroller game we saw in these Twitter videos, but let's check out this remix feature. Hit remix. Take this artifact with you in a new chat and evolve it into your own unique spin. All right. Now, when they give you the ability to search a directory of these artifacts within the UI of Claude itself, that's going to be super, super awesome. As it's just going to give you ideas, but also be able to really start playing around with this kind of stuff. Is there going to be a builder program for the Claude artifacts? I have no clue. I probably doubt it. As OpenAI's builder program for GBTs, they haven't, even paid any, they haven't paid us yet. I haven't been paid. Supposedly, you're supposed to get a minimum of 1,000 USD when you reach a certain amount. I haven't been paid. Someone email, someone email OpenAI for me right now and be like, yo, where is the GPT revenue program? Put in their support now. <laughs> now, what's cool about this is that we have like the ability to, you know, obviously use the artifact that we were just using, but we could actually add more stuff here. So I'm wondering how intuitive this is real quick. I'm just going to add a feature of like maybe adding another element. Okay. This looks great. Add an option for sunglasses to be added. I highly doubt this will actually make another button that says add sunglasses and it actually has all the relevant information. If it does, then we've reached another level here when it comes to AI and coding, specifically in a, this kind of interface. And we may have actually reached that. So we got added the gold chain and those are our sunglasses. Okay, not perfect. Obviously we can mess around with the design more. I'm more impressed with the fact that it knew how to, which basically UI to use for the button, adding and removing sunglasses. Now let's go check out some community made artifacts. Scrolling down here. All right, we found one real quick. Something about a snake, maybe it's a slug. Let's test it out. All right, I have no clue how to play this. Oh, yo, this is the, uh, this is the worm game. I think this is the worm game. Hold up, hold up. Corbin, what do you mean this is the worm game? This is the game. I know y'all played this. Let me find a picture real quick. Nice little AI overview. Tell me y'all don't remember this. If you don't remember this, this was goaded. I played this as a kid. This was a lot of fun. I'm pretty sure you could do multiplayer. I'm pretty sure you could do land parties. If you don't know what this is and you're like, Corbin, why the heck is there a worm with grenades in their hand? Check out a YouTube video on it. I bet you there's one from like 2011. Worms. Let's go and play them. Move me in the middle. Move me in the middle. Moving. In worms, you can destroy the environment. That was kind of like the cool part about it. And you can like build little caves and stuff. It was like churn based. Only problem is that I don't have enough I don't have like a lot of momentum here. Wait, can I go the other way? No. Let me just confirm. Oh. 
<laughs> it's early days still. It's early days. I'm trying to get an angle here. It's like a little too zoomed in here. Oh my gosh. Restart it. I just shot myself. <laughs> I don't know what these arrows are. I mean, obviously, we need a little bit more context here, but if you don't know what Worms is, you should check it out. I can't get enough power here. And the problem is that if I go like this, we need to reverse that. We have another flawed artifact that's been shared, turning that crab game into a survival game. Let's check it out. I want a gold chain. I want a hat. I don't want a mustache. Scroll back to my videos in January 2024. I had a mustache. Is he going to come back? Possibly. Maybe I got to wait for November. Movember. Start game. Whoa. Oh, this is interesting. So I don't know if I can use, I can't use my mouse, like my keyboard, but I can use this. Oh, okay. So this, this, this right here, let me zoom in y'all. That's a lot better. This is my pickaxe. Okay. So I got inventory as well. So I can dig holes. Oh, actually I can go really far down. Oh, my inventory is right here. So I can't get past that or I can get past that. So I got gold now and there's just a random hex. <laughs> Problem is I don't know how to angle it. You know what? We're just going to the center of the earth. Keep clicking. But this just shows you the potential here. Um, I'm gonna th I think I'm going to play this now instead of Minecraft, as this seems to be more intuitive. Next game. We end the next game here. Choose yo player. Y'all remember Super Smash Bros? They had the little silhouettes. And then, like, the, the final boss was, like, the hand. The hand would come down, and you could do, like, co-op, GameCube. No? No one? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on easy just to see, like, how this works. We're going to do color matching. Find the red color. I got that. Find the purple color. I got that. Find the red color. I got that. <laughs> all right, so let's see this game on hard. It's a kid's game, all right? Shape recognition. Find the oval. I got that. Find the rectangle. I got that. Let's see if I get something wrong. Okay, so it doesn't know. It isn't just like everything's right. Interesting, it actually saves the data as well right here with this chart of a progress chart. All early days still. Pretty cool. Solid stuff from Anthropic here. Early days still. No, you're not gonna be able to code out Call of Duty and share Call of Duty as an artifact, but we're able to do like really simple games for now. Make sure you leave a like, it's completely free and I'll see you in the next video. These two videos are based off the YouTube algo. I have no clue what it is. Are they good? I'll see you in the next video.